Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If we want to now disable Copilot on Windows 10 and 11, I'm going to run you through it. So if you are on Windows 10, you will have to skip the first part. So if you are on 11, you will now start watching from here. Let's go. We want to go into this website over here. You can see that it is Pastebin. And over here, Pastebin offers uh, this code. I'm going to leave the link for um this uh, website in the description you can see now this code over here you want to copy the next thing you want to do is jump into your notepad and uh, you can locate your notepad just by going into your search bar and typing in notepad over here you want to paste that code you want to go up to file and now we're going to tap on save as and now the very clever thing we want to do is save this file now you can save it as whatever it is that you want okay the thing that you need to do which is very important is type in dot bat to create it as a batch file we're going to tap on save here we're going to leave here and once we're done we're going to just close this as well right from here you can see that the file has been saved we're going to right click and we are going to tap on run as administrator we're going to say yes over here you can see now that it is processing. So after this, you now need to restart your computer and we're gonna go now and open run. So we're gonna go into our search bar and we're gonna tap on run or we are going to search run. And over here, you can see I've typed in gpedit.msc. And here we are now, we have our local group policy editor. And so from here, we're gonna just open this up so that we can see nicely. And under user configuration, we're gonna tap on that and you will see administrative templates on the right hand side. Now from here, you're gonna go ahead and look for Windows components and you're gonna go ahead and look for Microsoft Windows Copilot. So right over here, you can see that it says turn off Windows Copilot, and we are going to double tap on that. Right over here, you can see on the left hand side, it says not configured, enabled and disabled. We're going to go ahead and tap on disabled. You will now be able to disable your Microsoft Copilot on your Windows system. I hope this was helpful. If it was, drop us a like. We will see you next time. Cheers.